two early goals to Crystal Palace before winning. And on Saturday, David Healy put Preston in front from Richard Cresswell's cloth before Joe Royal's side had woken up. The manager suggested the problem could be all that travelling from East Anglia. Whatever the reason, Ricardo Fuller almost added a second for the home side before half-time. But after the break, Ipswich were a different proposition, and they levelled from the spot after Paul McKenna had brought down Fabian Vilnius midway through the second half. They couldn't turn Pablo Cunhago's equaliser into a ninth win in ten league games, but Royal was happy to mark his first anniversary at the club with a point, and his opposite number was full of praise. In the first half, we could have gone in two or three ahead, but uh, all credit to Ipswich, they came out and they showed the quality which they have. They have a young, vibrant team, they pass the ball exceptionally well, and uh, without question, they're the best team I've seen uh, in our league. Our football second half was terrific and uh, I'm, I'm proud of them, you know, it's the first time we haven't won for a while, but I, I'm, I'm so pleased. Craig Brown says uh, you're the best side that's been up here, that's uh, some compliment. Oh, well, thanks Craig, I mean he said that coming off, he, he said that... Um, his last minute played. winner inflicted Watford's second defeat in nine games. Pavel Abbott opened the scoring for Craig Brown's side, five minutes into the second half. Some thought there may have been something of an offside about it, not least the Watford defenders. For his target, Danny Webber's second goal in successive games. Leveled the score. And it looked like it was going to be points shared, but the Northern Ireland International, Healy, got a late winning goal. And Sunderland bounced back. On the shot for George Burney's team after a masterclass from Preston's Jamaican striker, Ricardo Fuller. Steve Elliott reduced the illegal means to stop him. Graham Alexander with the penalty. And Fuller had a huge hand in Preston second too by slipping in David Healy. After firing blanks for a dozen matches this term, the Irishman has now netted two in two games. All that was left was for Fuller to get the goal his performance deserved, his ninth of the season, confirming Deepdale as an increasingly difficult place to go. North End unbeaten in six now on their own turf. The North End star scored his tenth of the season last night at Cardiff in a two-all draw. All draw, two-all draw, all draw, all draw. Well, with the details of that and the rest of the latest First Division action, action, action. The question regarding Ricardo Fuller's future just won't go away. With reports of yet another bid for the much-coveted Preston striker, he opened the scoring at Cardiff last night to keep Premiership scouts wanting more. Richard Langley's well-driven shot held North End back, but substitute David Healy soon restored Preston's lead. It was a Northern Ireland striker's sixth goal in eight games. But as they were seemingly heading for a vital win, they allowed Peter Thorne to find a last-minute equaliser. Two points dropped. So yeah, it's in a one-all draw with Preston at the Britannia Stadium. Preston took the lead, though, through David Healy. Look at this. Pick that one out. But deep into injury time, in an off-the-ball incident, Michael Jackson was adjusted to have brought down Adiak and Bailly in the area. It earned him a red card, sparking some unsavoury scenes before the penalty kick was taken. When it was, Eustace didn't miss. A point of peace at the Britannia Stadium. His 10th goal in his last 13 FA Cup ties, giving Reading a lead in his comeback game, quickly cancelled out. So many times this season, the hero for North End has been Ricardo Fuller. And he scored twice in the last quarter of an hour of the first half to take his tally for the season to 16. But as fast as he was scoring at one end, his defenders were putting them in at the other. Scott Murray's cross hitting Claude Davis to give Reading another freakish lead. The last time these sides met in the cup, Preston won 18 nil, albeit back in the 19th century. And Reading's long wait for revenge goes on for another 10 days. Fuller booking the replay. Swansea wait for the winners.